What's up, you guys? Good afternoon. Happy Thanksgiving. It's me, Jessica, with day 170 of our motivational videos. Just want to get to you. I had to work this morning. I had to do a 8 to 3 shift today. Um, and I just wanted to come to you guys a little bit with, you know, some info about today. It's Today, with it being Thanksgiving, you're supposed to give thanks and be grateful for, you know, what you have, who you have, and, you know, where you're at in life. But I think that a lot of people, it's not fair to only do it just on Thanksgiving. You guys, just we're supposed to wake up every day and give thanks. That should be the first thing we do when we, like, open our eyes and when you take your first breath, you know, in the morning. Um, you need to just be grateful for even having that moment for that day. So Thanksgiving should be every day. Um, so going back to me personally, this is like my holiday, right? Thanksgiving, um, my mom's side of the family originated with the first white baby boy born on the Mayflower on their way over to America. Um, and then my dad's family, we don't know at all, but there's Indian in it. So... I got the best of both worlds. This is my holiday. This is, you know, my background, my culture. And it's just really cool to see, you know, the first Thanksgiving, like when they first came in, uh, what was it, 16 something? Okay, that's when like they had their Thanksgiving, but it wasn't until Abraham Lincoln in 1863 or somewhere around there, okay? But Abraham Lincoln made it a national holiday. Um, so there was like 200 years of celebrating Thanksgiving where it wasn't like even official. And I think that's pretty cool. For something to take so long to become official, like that's just how things are, you guys, in life. Good things take a long time to catch on to good people. So think of yourself as like a holiday. Right? Just because everybody isn't aware of you yet, like you're like sweetest day. You're not on the calendar. Some people know about you. Others don't. And then like you sneak up on them. They're surprised by you. They love you. Like that's cool. Or they run away scared because you're not official. <laughs> but I want you guys to realize that there's just, it's just a journey. It's all a timing journey. Whether it's a holiday, an event, a place, a person. Everything has its own timing for it to fall into its officialness. Um, so don't be, you know, devastated or caught, caught up in the time that it takes for your life um, to really develop, right? Just enjoy your journey. Enjoy the ups and the downs and the all arounds. You know, if tears fall, I'm sorry. I've been there with you guys. I share my tears with you. You know, we have those moments where you feel out of control. But what I realize is when you feel out of control, that's when you really need to put out your energy and your thoughts so strongly into the universe. Okay? Like, if you want somebody to call you, if you want somebody to call you, don't sit there and blow them up. Don't act crazy and, you know, just hound them. Just put the thought of, I want this person to get a hold of me out there in the universe. Think it so strong like it's going to happen. Every time you look at your phone, picture it as if that person that you're looking for is calling, okay? And I promise you, the stronger you feel that and you, you know, think about it happening now, it'll end up happening way faster. Um, believe in the power of attraction, the law of attraction, um, the law of association, all those things. You guys need to believe in them because I have personally have used them like to the T lately. I want something. I'm not afraid to go after it. I have learned how to go about things a little bit better. Um, but at the same time, I still learned to go after what I want and I learned how to use my mind and manifestation to my advantage. Um, and it's really, really neat to see my mind, like, being so powerful over things that I want. Like, wow, when I really put my mind to it, I can get what I want. And I not only get what I want, but even before I receive it, 
my mental state is just getting to the, you know, my ment my mentality is switching to feeling like I already have this. So I just feel more joy, I feel more happy, I feel more relaxed, I feel less stressed, even though I don't even have it yet. Just because of the mind switch from going from worrying about it and, you know, just wanting something to happen to really just saying, okay, well, I may want this to happen, but it's going to happen. It may not happen within this next five minutes, but, you know, like, it's happening soon. This person's going to call soon, or, you know, the job is going to call soon, or whatever it is. If you think about having it now, and you think it really strong, and you don't doubt it, watch these things end up happening for you. It's a really beautiful thing, and it's something to really be grateful for. Um... With it being Thanksgiving and everything, I wanted to bring you guys just, you know, 15 things that you could do to, um, you know, help, that you should give up to help become happy, more happy, okay? It says, one, give up your need to always be right. Two, give up your need for control. Three, give up on blame. Four, give up your self-defeating self-talks. No more saying I can't. Or I'm not good enough. Or if I can only lose that five extra pounds. No. Stop saying these self-defeating words to yourself. Believe in yourself. Five. Give up your limiting beliefs, which goes in together. So not only stop not believing in yourself, but you need to stop, you know, doubting situations. Stop doubting the universe. Stop doubting God's work in your life. Okay, start realizing that things happen to you for a reason. They're lessons that you're supposed to learn. Um, and something that I really like is God doesn't give bat. You know, God gives his worst battles to his strongest soldiers. He doesn't give you things that you can't handle. So though you may feel a little stressed out, you may feel like you can't do it. Trust me, you can do it. There's somebody way bigger, something way bigger than you can can even imagine that believes in you and knows that you can do these things so just stick through it and start believing in yourself okay give up complaining the less negative you are the more positive you think and speak the better you feel um seven give up the luxury of criticism stop talking about other people okay other people are other people how would you feel if they were just sitting there talking about you Right? It's not nice. It's not cool. It's not funny. Right? We all need to get along. We all need to just look for the best in each other. We all need to try to be the best people we can be. And just, you know, create a world that's really worth something here. Instead of being the generation where everyone else is like, they're really kind of messing things up and I'm scared to leave the world in their hands. Let's be the generation that everyone's like, they know what they're doing. They know where they're going. These kids, these young adults, these young professionals are, you know, respectful, intelligent, you know, courageous, just ready to really set, you know, a good example for more generations to come. Um, eight, give up your need to impress others. You know, it's, it's nice to make your family happy or others happy, but you have to ultimately be happy. If you're not, then they're kind of, you get a problem here, okay? So learn to do the things that you want and realize that it's your life and that most of the time when a lot of people say that you can't do something, it's because you're showing them that you can do something that they should be doing and they don't know about how to go about it or they don't think that they can do it and will never try. So they hate on you because you just remind them of the stuff that they could, should, and, you know, would be doing. Um, then we got give up your resistance to change. Give up labels. Give up your fears. Give up your excuses. That's a good one. Give up your excuses. We've talked about that before. Assholes <laughs> and excuses. Everybody has one, but that doesn't mean it's okay. All right? Stop making excuses and just realize that today, right here, right now, is the moment to take control over what you want and make it happen. 
um, give up the past. The past is your past. You may have done things you regret, you, you're not proud of. But those things, okay, those things have made you who you are today. They, as much as you may have tried to not think about them or admit to them, you know, shit happens in our lives. We don't make the best decisions, but the whole point is to just grow from things. Become bigger and better than those choices that you're not so happy with, you know, from your past. And just let it go. Really, it's a really good feeling when, you know, just look yourself in the mirror, you know, let a couple of tears fall if you have to, and just tell yourself, like, it's okay. Like, you're you messed up, but it's okay. Look at where you are now. Look at where you're going. You know, look where I'm going to be five years from now. Stay positive. Let that past crap go. As long as you're still not, you know, remaking your same mistakes, then there's no reason to be so uptight about your past. Just let it go. Okay? 14. Give up attachment. 15. Give up living your life to other people's expectations. Michael Jordan said, if you live your life to other people's expectations, you will never succeed. You will never be happy because people's expectations of you are constantly going to change as you grow, as you change. They don't know really who you are. You can put your heart on your sleeve. You can expose your soul to people, but they will never really know you the way you know you. So don't let them put, you know, standards to what you can do. You're an amazing person. You have capabilities. You have the abilities. You have ambition inside of you. It's just time to let it loose. Let that ambition go. Let loose on one of your passions and believe in yourself and just watch what you can do. Be grateful for this video today. Be grateful that if I was right there next to you, I would shake you to wake you up, to make you realize that yes, it's Thanksgiving. Yes, it's time to spend time with family and to eat a bunch of food and watch football. But let's be serious. Tomorrow is another day and we have to make it somewhere because even though today's Thanksgiving and we're with family and we're in good places, we want to be one step at least ahead tomorrow. So we still have to find time to, you know, develop ourselves and our minds and our teams and our businesses and our jobs and just make sure that you are still sharpening your saw even during the holidays to be better tomorrow. You have to constantly bring that value every single day if you want to continue growing. Because the moment that you stop bringing value, the moment that you stop, you know, adding into yourself and learning is the moment that you waste away, right? Don't waste away. Be thankful for all of the things that are being brought to you, all the stuff that you have been through, all the things that you will go through in the future. It's time to take these things on with a smile on your face, even if there's tears in your eyes, okay? You are a strong soldier. And God would not give you stuff that you can't handle, okay? If he's giving you something hard, it's because you are going to be able to take what you go through and that relatability is going to be so valuable, so valuable. You could impact and save somebody's life just because you can relate to what they're going through because you've already been there. Remember that. I'm not going to keep going because I know you guys want to get back to football and all that stuff, but... I just had a couple quotes about being thankful and gratitude and then a prayer I'd like to say for everybody. Um, but it says a positive attitude in is contagious, but don't wait to catch it from others. Be a carrier, right? So let's be a carrier of the virus of a positive attitude. You don't want to wait to get sick by somebody else. You want to be the one infecting other people with your positive attitude, the ripple effect. You're positive, so now that person's positive, and that person's positive, and then that person they talk to is positive, and so on and so forth. So be a carrier of disease, of the positive attitude disease, and go get other people sick with it, all right? It's time to get sick with positivity. Um, also, gratitude makes sense of our past. It brings peace for today and creates a vision 
for tomorrow. So when you realize what you're thankful for, for what you've been through, what you're going through, and what you could be going through, where you know you're headed, and you, you may not know all the obstacles and things you're going to have to go through in the future, but you know that there's going to be those obstacles. You know that something's going to happen. So just be thankful in advance that, you know, God in the universe is taking time out to teach you lessons, to benefit you, to make you more relatable, and to make you a better person. Um, and this is our last thing for today, you guys, our prayer, all right? If you would all just listen and pray with me. After all, it is Thanksgiving, okay? Dear Lord, as I thank you for the gift of life, I also thank you for the gift of wonderful people I have met along this journey and also haven't met, but they hear me. Some of them inspire me, stretch me, challenge me, love me, and encourage me. All of them helped me to realize how meaningful and beautiful my life is. I love them so much. Bless them, Lord, with good health, security, wealth, success, peace, and joy. And please grant their prayers too. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. You guys, I'm praying for you. I'm praying for your success. I'm praying for your journey. And I'm praying thank you. Thank you for watching these videos. Thank you for wanting to be better people. Thank you for starting your own journey and joining me in mine. It's an amazing feeling being selfless and going on. It's like we're selfless, but we're on a selfish journey because we're becoming, you know, better people and we are doing this for ourselves, changing so that we can have the success that we want. But ultimately, it's we know that by us changing that that's when the self and the selflessness comes in because we are going to take that everything that we've learned stuff that we've been through and we're going to take that and we're going to share it with other people and that can stop people from making the same mistakes it can you could end up your story could end up being that little voice in somebody's head that they're like oh no I, I remember you know Jessica went through this situation and something like this when somebody said something like this I need to get out of here I am in the wrong place or I'm doing the wrong thing you know they'll remember that and they could stop some bad things just because you shared your story so don't ever beat yourself up for dumb choices or for regrets or just because you think life's so hard and it doesn't like you and they you know life dealt you a bad deck of cards Right? If life gives you lemons, you make lemonade. So make it the best damn lemonade you can possibly make, right? Have a good Thanksgiving. Be thankful for everything that has been given to you, brought to you, everything that's fallen into your lap. And be thankful, the full, be thankful for yourself and know that in the future, the stuff that you're going through now, the changes that you're trying to make, you're going to end up in somebody's life where they really are going to need these lessons. And you will be that person, unintentionally, who just really helps save them. So make sure you do everything you can to be a better person and to get where you want to go. But remember, ultimately, what you're doing is going to affect somebody else, is going to inspire somebody else. You're going to spark somebody else's flame, and it's going to be an ongoing process. So remember, it's bigger than just you. Be thankful that you mean that much. Have a good day, you guys. Happy Thanksgiving.